Well, good morning, Penn State. My name is Macaulay Parkman. I'm currently a third year student uh, here at Pennsylvania State University, the Shire Honors College, and I'll be taking over the Instagram for today. A couple of facts about me. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, and I am a biology major currently on the neuroscience track. Uh, we're heading to English 202 today to give a presentation, so let's do it. Body, it shows the supplies of the cardiovascular system supplies blood across the entire body in terms of the brain, the lungs that provide nutrients and oxygenated the blood. Hi, I'm Dr. Yarger. I'm the Associate Dean for Equity and Inclusion at the Schreier Honors College. I have the pleasure of working with a fantastic intern, Alma McKiley, and we work on several projects together. But what I wanted to do is just wish everyone the best with their finals and to have a safe trip home or wherever you're going for break. Take care, everybody. No. No. Oh. Hey everyone, I'm in lab right now with Evan. He's going to talk, you, talk to you guys a little bit about his research that we both do into as well. Hey guys, uh, my name is Evan Mancini. I'm a fourth year uh, scholar. I also am a scholar ambassador like Mikhaili is, and I'm from outside of Philadelphia. And we both work in a neurobiology lab that investigates a lot of the things that have to do with how neurons fire using uh, channel proteins. So as you know, all scholars are required to complete a thesis process. Evan, can you talk about a little bit how this lab has sort of helped you with that process and sort of experiences that you've gained in order to complete this thesis process? Yeah, so the thesis really motivates scholars to get into labs early. So Makaili and I both joined this lab fall of our sophomore year, and the principal investigators are super open to scholars joining their lab because they know they must complete this thesis. And the nice thing about it is how collaborative the process is. I work with our principal investigator all the time developing experiments, procedures, data analyses, compiling of results. So it's really given me that next step from going doing just bench work to actually generating your own published findings. So uh, I've generated a poster out of this too and hopefully one day uh, publish a paper. All right, Evan, so a quick question for you. So why did you choose Penn State Schreier Honors College instead of other colleges when you were choosing colleges? Yeah, so I think the thing I liked most about Schreier was the combination of, you know, having such a big community like Penn State where you can go to these events, like the football games where you have 110,000 people all rooting for the same school to do well. But at the same time, I liked the specificity and the, the niche environment that was Schreier. So I've had a lot of my biology classes with only 20 or 25 kids, and that's allowed me to get really close with not only my fellow peers, but also the faculty, too. All right, Evan, do you want to walk us through what you're doing right now? Yeah, so what we're doing is injecting that channel protein into these frog eggs, and then after that, we subject these eggs to a machine called a voltage clamp. And what that does is it administers an electric voltage to these channels, and since these proteins are activated by that, it then measures the amount of current or ions that these channels send through the membrane. And we use that to really measure how well these channels are functioning when we give them mutations and also what kind of roles they're playing in how neurons activate. Hey everyone, Kyle again um, here. One last message, best of luck on your finals this year. Um, there's going to be a at work at Pepper too as well, one of the gems on campus. Uh, happy holidays and enjoy.